some gentlemen, I believe Afghani gentlemen, have been stopped on this corner and the reasons of which are unclear. Please, if you would, there's a message at the end from a Phil who is trying to contact some family and a child. The details of that are at the end. A friend of the person who's been stopped approaches me, obviously unpleased that I'm filming. Do you know why he was stopped? He's got a right to ask. He's got a right to ask. They have to give you a reason. I can't just stop you, and just, I can't just stop you. For everyone's safety. For, 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 yeah, for their safety, yeah. Yeah. It works. They hate it. Nothing is wrong. They hate it. They hate it. Look, look he's, looking over, he's looking over him here now. Because they can't. He's bad boy. He's what? Nothing wrong. He's bad boy. Well, I can't tell you for sure whether or not he's saying burglar. All I can say is, at the time, I heard him say barber. Because they can't... He's, he's barber. He's what? Nothing wrong, he's barber. He's a barber? Yeah. Yeah, so why have they stopped him? I don't know, maybe something wrong. That's what. Look, here they come, look. Yeah, maybe something wrong. Yeah, well, there'll be something, you know, look, look, if I'm standing here with a camera, they've got to do it by the book. So yeah. it's for everyone's safety, yeah, it is. It is. And anyway, it's a public place, so there's no... You wouldn't go to the toilet in the public, would you? Because it's like, that's the difference. You've got public and you've got private. That's the two different. And it, in uh, it's public... Photography is not a crime. It's treated like a crime, but it's not. It's not. It's for their safety. It's for everyone's safety. Now three of the gentlemen congregate on the pavement behind me, making it clear that they're not happy with my filming. It's blinded. As soon as I go out in that sun, it's like... So again? I say after you're going to delete the video because nothing important. No, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to put it online. Yeah? Yep. Make some money out of it. Make some money. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. It's not me who makes the law, mate. Like, in France, you couldn't do this. In France, you can't do this. Yeah? Yeah. You, you can film, but you can't publish it. But in this country, you can... You can uh, you, you can, you can, uh, yeah, you can publish it. In this country, you can walk. In this country, you can walk round with a with your with a balaclava helmet on, and walk down the high street. Yeah, no, I mean, like, yeah, otherwise, this woman wouldn't be able to wear like her her stuff. That's 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 why that's why it's the way it is. It's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? She wouldn't she wouldn't be able to wear that if they if that. If there are now four or five gentlemen now stood, but just behind me, obviously not happy with my recording. Are you recording? Are you going to tell him or shall I? Go on, tell him in your... Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother. Go on, tell, tell him in, what is it, uh, uh, Iraqi, uh, Afghani? No, he's not Afghani. No, not Iraqi. No. Iraqi. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't have to tell me any more than I have to tell anyone that I'm filming. That's, that's the same, isn't it? There you go. See, that's why it's a good place, isn't it? That's why it's, that's a good idea, isn't it? That's one of the that's one of the rights that we got. So we are right on the boundary now of aggression developing through the filming. However, the demeanour changes slightly when I point out this geezer's got rights. You know, you know something. You know something, yeah, right? I could give him. I could give him a name of a solicitor's right. Yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll get him paid out for that. He'd get paid a thousand pounds for that. Subject to immigration status. That's that's. I've got the. Oh, I'll, I'll give you three letters. I'll give you three letters, and he could go, and he wouldn't have to do nothing. All he'll have to do is sign a sign a form. Yeah. Just if I give you three letters. So, you know, he'll come over. Your mate will come over now, right? And start having a go at me about that, about filming. But he doesn't realise the fact that like what they're doing there. I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what I'll I'm saying. 
So he, he, he wants to get a street docket. Yeah, he want he want to get a street docket because what they'll say is, oh, I'll do it later. Go go online. Go down the station later okay. to get your stop and search like docket, right? And then uh, you won't you won't be able to. Uh, they'll say if you don't want to do it, make go and make a complaint. Yeah, and then the, if you make a complaint, the solicitors can't help you until yeah. the complaint until the complaint is yeah. finished. Good. That that's it, the the police yeah. investigate themselves. So if you make a complaint. You get the police off. The police officers will invent, investigate the police officers, and that's not going anywhere. That's not. It's going to be a waste of your time, and then you can't make a, a claim. See, it's worth knowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'll give him three letters. Three letters. So I've stood that gentleman down, but one of his friends hasn't heard what I just said. Yeah. Go on. Do you want to tell him or shall I? Yeah, all right, I won't film you. I won't film you. I'm it's filming this for, the, for for everyone's safety. Go on, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. The, tell him what I just said. It's right, isn't it? All right, mate. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. So the Yerky uh, geezer didn't know what to make of that, did he? And then his mate came over and said, why are you filming? Told him. And like, they were in two minds suddenly. Interesting that, wasn't it? Very interesting. So a protest was uh, here earlier on, but um, nothing actually happening right now. Not too bad, not too bad, man. Not too bad. What you, how's it going? Not so good, bro. Not so good. What's uh? What get some uh? What, dollar in that, yeah. Yeah. Nightmare. Now I do know this fella, and he's quite well known in the town. He does have many challenges, but he's a gentle soul, and he's got a good heart. So it's sad to see him like yeah, this. He's been sanctioned as well. So been get... sanctioned? What by the social? Yeah. Because what it was, where I ain't got no internet, they used to send me a text. Yeah. And uh, I lost my phone. Yeah. So, well, so I nicked it, being yeah. on the street. They sent me an appointment. Yeah. I didn't make the appointment. Yeah. So they sanctioned me. That's I've been ridiculous. trying to un get hold of them to unlift it and that, yeah. But yeah. it's been going through. What, are they, what, so what, what, when was that? Well, this is three months. Three months ago? Yeah. Fuck's sake. So what are you, what are you doing? How are you surviving? Well. Just by yeah. donations and stuff, well, yeah? Oh, yeah. Right, it's not right. a way to go about things. I don't want to. Oh, that's why I've worked. Yeah. I don't want to go shoplifting and get nicked. No, but like, how else, how else you got to eat? I'm going to do it, yeah? And this is the problem. Yeah, I know, I know. It's I know. not right. That's fucking money that but, yeah. I, I'm a Meanwhile, they're sending. Title. Yeah, they're yeah. sending billions of pounds to like wars and stuff, aren't they? Well, and, I mean, yeah, war. Yeah. 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 What about our own people? How about here? Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, I can take, I can chuck him a quid or two. And if you'd like to help him out, you can do on the Super Chat. Or for 100% of the donation, you can do at PayPal. Just mark that donation for Jay, and I'll get it to him in a future video, and, and you'll get a mention. Oh, it's annoying, it's isn't disgusting, it? disgusting, I made mention to him for something that could earn him a few quid, and he seemed interested in this. What are you... Well, I could give you my number, but yeah. by the end of the day, you're, so you you're, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to contact you in order to, to do that. If I, you know, yeah, but so I'll ring you. Yeah. All right, well, if you've got... You get your, go in the... Hey? Go in yeah. the bookies. Go in the bookies, get a pen. Get a pen. Take my number, and then if I can help you out, I will. I can do It's terrible, isn't it? You know, it's supposed to be in the fifth wealthiest country in the world. And, like, look, you know, another chap over there, look, and he's sitting outside the shop and all. And like, frankly, I, I, you know, 
Yeah, that's it. Go on in, write it down. Right. Write down your number. Yeah, it's going to write down your number. Uh, it's uh, yeah, you just, it, yeah, you just give me a bell, like you know, I'll and, and, you up. as and when I'll give you a and call, and then I'll, I'll and have then your we number. Can link up. Yeah, you yeah. Got then, my I'll, number, then. then I'll have yeah, then I'll have your number, and, uh, and if, then, if I can help you, then I will help you. You know what I'm saying? Then it. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. See you soon. I'll be walking about. I'll be walking about. So like, you know, you probably see me. Yeah, all right, all right, man, all right, man, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'll ring you, let you know. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. All Bless right. you. Bless you. Yeah, I've put a step in. I've put a step in his stride. That's good. That's good. You know, if I can help him out, and uh, I do have a an idea for him. And that's all. You, that's what you're trying to do. Is just trying to give people some hope, you know. But it's disgusting, isn't it? In the fifth richest yeah. country in the world. And you got people sitting in cardboard boxes on the on, on the street outside, outside where they're making all these decisions to uh, send money all around the world. Like we're the like, like we're the world's policemen. It's 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 a joke. It's two crackies having an argument. Right? Yes, London has Piccadilly Circus, and uh, every town has one of these. It's Crackadilly, sir. Right, and then there's these two plastic policemen pretending that they can't hear the argument going on. It's interesting, isn't it? Finally, look. They've turned around from harassing the uh, homeless people, which is what their main role is. Crutchy's gone. Crutchy's gone. Five quid as well, apparently. Marvel at the passionate moment as she breaks loose from the plastic police in one last desperate bid to get back her thirty five quid. She runs out of breath about here. With the plastic police in hot pursuit. Here we come. Here we come. We're coming. We're coming now. Here we come. Are we coming? No. Are we coming? No. 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 They literally do this all day, every day, from 8am till till 12 midnight. Sorry Sarge, we couldn't catch her, she was too fast. They, they, they've moved it on now, now that I'm filming. Look, she's having a go, but the, the girl's having a go, but like what she doesn't realise is I'm helping her out here. For everyone's safety. Well, they're getting on the blower, they're getting on the radio here, they're going, hey, audits, and he's having a, like, is, is he allowed to do that? It's Pinnacker thing. Did you see, DJ, did you see that one yesterday? In the, I did a, I went to a, a town hall, and there's a job centre, citizens advice in there, 
and everything else. And they just the geese just came straight out, spat on me. He used the technique of sort of slobbering, like spitting on me in order to get rid of me, and then just pushed me out the door. There's a lot going on tonight. Look, there's more blue lights. I don't know if that's ambulance or it's going away. But look, Mr. Gingerbeard. I think I recognise Mr. It's always Gingerbeard, isn't it? UK Meet the Tyrants uh, would point out that it is a, uh, a spunk catcher. Spunk catcher. Spunk catcher beard. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, he's not right, is he? He's not right, but he's very funny. UK Meet the Tyrants, ladies and gentlemen. Look, the spunk catcher look, is looking at me now. Look, look he's giving me evils. What is this saying behind me, mate? Sorry. Look, he's giving me evils. Henry VIII. I think he's Henry VIII. You know, where, where, else would, where else would you see feet like that on the Travel Channel, eh? With your feet. Oh, there's two more, look. Hello, mate. Hello. How are you? You okay? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. you. What am I up to? Yeah. Uh, just uh, conducting free and legal no, activities. No, no. I didn't. What have you been up to? I don't oh. know what you're doing now. Oh, I, I was uh, painting. Oh, lovely. No, I went out to the, in the mud flats and. Uh, Did you get anything nice? Anything nice? Yeah, I've got dirty feet. <laughs> That's about it, really. Oh, no worries. We'll leave you to it, mate. Thank right? you, Take thank you. Day, I might follow you now. Oh, yeah, feel free. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, just, just, like, fo just follow you, personally. Oh, follow Where do I want to go? Don't know. Wherever, wherever's going on, wherever's busy. Who's more exciting, these, these little... I don't know. Who's got the better beard? Mr. The ginger one or the brown one? Oh, I'd say me, really, no. Really? Have you ever heard of UK Meet the Tyrants? No, never. No? Never. No, I should we watch don't... it. I don't usually work in Southland. I'm here on a right. off today. So. All right. Yeah, good is stuff. that yourself? Is it? Is that this? Is this myself? Yeah. Is that is that the is that the account you're referencing? Is it? Oh no no oh, no right. no. I was oh. just saying he likes beards and that he likes oh, he likes people's you. beards. Yeah. He's oh no worries. He's got you know. Oh, it was a beard off. Oh. A beard off. A beard, a beard off. Brown beard. Ginger beard. Brown yeah. beard. Oh fair enough mate. Well we'll yeah. leave you to it. All right. Thank okay, you. Like. Follow us or whatever. Nice one. Take all care, right. Cheers mate. Thank you. So that's uh nice to know. So, so those uh, those ones have gone down there. No, I didn't say I didn't say spunk catcher to that uh, copper. You know what I nearly did when she said, "Oh, it's a beard off." You got ginger one. You got you got the brown one. Spunk catcher one. But I didn't. I, I stopped. I stopped myself. Now, yes, meet Phil. Now, Phil has an important message which he wanted to get out. So, in the slightly unlikely event that uh, you do know any of the names mentioned or you have any contact to Radio Yorkshire. As for reasons unknown to me, Phil needs to get in touch with them, which as you'll hear, Phil says, uh, you could save a child's life. So over to you, Phil. We're back on, right, go on in, give your message to your... Right, um, Essex video, this has got to go out to uh, Place Peniston in West Yorkshire and Preston. I'm Philip Robert Martin, my daughter's Eleanor Mary Martin Speddy. She's 16 on the 8th of this, of September. Uh, she was born in 2008, I've travelled, I'm a traveller from 1969 in Gravesend. My dad was Roger Bill William Martin, a parrot who went rogue, turned into a bank robbing bigamist. Uh, my guitar's bust, my bigamist brother is James Castle, he's a good London DJ. Music is in the family. Auntie Sue and, and, and my mum Christine Padley. I need 80 quid and I'm in Wales on my little farmhouse community. Whatever, halfway between you and the kid. Thank you, BBC Radio. Can you send that to Radio Yorkshire as well, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Philip Martin, 27th now, Philip, of the 11th. Philip. Philip Robert Martin, 27th of the 11th, 1969, born in Gravesend in Kent. Thank you. You might have saved my kid's life. Respect. Brilliant. My kid was. Uh, what was Ah, look, it's a losing connection. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. That's fantastic. Okay, I really needed you. I need yeah? to get a message to Yorkshire Radio. I'll do my best. Any, yeah, any messages? Where do I get in touch with you? I'm Christine Padley in Peniston. Yeah, where do I get in touch with you if uh, if I uh, do get some here. I'm feedback? Here the You'll be around here, sort of thing. I'm yeah. Sleeping right there, mate. Just, just sleeping down there. That's right. Found me. Okay. Right. Okay. If I hear of anything, night tonight. Oh, look, I keep losing. And I'll be there every afternoon. Right. So if I do hear anything, I just come. I just come and look for you around here again. Remind me of your name again. Philip. Phil. Philip. Okay. Philip, Philip Roberts Martin, Philip. well for Philip. Okay. I think uh, you might have just saved my kid from insanity, you know. Seriously, yeah. man. Did you did you get did you get that that name again from Gravesend? Philip Rod My name's Philip Roberts Martin. Philip I was Ro born in Gravesend in Kent to um, Roger William Martin on an on an army estate. To get back to my little farmhouse community in Wales, I have two pence to my name till the end of this month. Can you please get in touch with them? My sister and mum live either on either ride or close or 
uh, Tennyson Avenue in Penniston, West Yorkshire. My child and to her stepmom is in Preston in Lancashire. That's Marcia Henderson. My daughter is Eleanor Mary Martin Speddy. Uh, she's 16. On to get to my little farmhouse community that I'm about to move into in Wales to relax and retire. Okay, thank people. you. Please and now I hope that we kids. get some something as soon yeah. as I hear You'll anything. Find me down there in the afternoon and at night. Okay, Phil. Beautiful. I'll let you. I'll come back down and well, tell you what, what uh, we get. We get back if we do. By the way, come here. All right. I'll upload that summer. tomorrow to yeah, the internet, you, and then uh, if I get any feedback, I'll come back and tell you. Oh, you have to say because Bless I'll you. tell you what's happened in private tomorrow. Be happy. Yeah. Be be lucky, Phil. So I don't know what that's all about, but if you can help Phil, if it rings a bell, then please let me know in the comments, for which I like, I enjoy, and thank you for. So if you do know anything he's talking about, then uh, please let me know and I will pass that on. Yes, just by help, uh, watching your helping and commenting too, helps to keep the algorithm rolling. And if you would, hit the like, subscribe and the bell for future notifications. And bless you all, those of you who know that you've got to keep your spirits up by bringing about some laughter, if possible, helping each other out. Because despite some of the stuff that I show that is tragic or aggravating, it's good to be able to see the lighter side because as we all know, laughter is the best medicine. So let's move on. Until the next time, stay safe, keep going. Yeah, you it's peace.